what up youtube what up team gifted all right so this is the before picture right here and you can see he's real light on the top but we gonna bring him back so with this type of haircut me personally i always start off with lining up the client first just so i can see what i'm working with what type of line i'm working with and um he gets a half on the top and on the sides we use the five zero blade or your trimmer um we don't use a shaver just because he will bump up so this is going to be almost like that ti look that ti fade with some uh hair fibers so i'm lining them up with my andes slimline pro allies just so i can get the, the line out first or the line up first all right so I'm using my wall magic cordless clippers and I have the lever open and I'm not taking that half into the front. I'm, I'm kind of staying right behind it because I'm going to come back and use the half going with the grain going forward just so we can keep that line darker. So the half is going to bring it down to almost match to how light he is in that spot. It's going to give the illusion that, you know, that he has hair in that area. And he don't, he don't usually get these hair fibers all the time whenever he comes in. I do a half on top and a ball fade on the sides and keep the front as dark as I can. I just did the, the hair fiber just for the sake of the video so I could show you how to apply them. And also it's an upcharge um, with your service. So right here I'm going with the green in that dark area. I mean in the light area, I'm sorry. So with the hair fibers, it is temporary. It does wash out, but it, if applied right, it won't come out with sweat or water, or like uh, rain or anything like that. Um, but as soon as you take a shower, it will come out. So right here, I'm using a 5-0 blade with my Andes MVPs. And this is going to be a high fade. It's going to be that TI look. So we're going to take the first initial guideline pretty high. No C cup. Just a little bit of a dark edge right there, as you can tell in the front. I'm going to keep that area dark. But you can see I did that half on top and it's not too light in the front, it kind of blends in. And once I once I fade it into the top, it's gonna look good. The hair fibers is just for the sake of the video. This would be something like for a wedding or a birthday or you know going out to the club looking nice the hair fibers that's what makes that haircut pop that line pop you see it on instagram all the time it's either going to be hair fibers big in or kiss express all right so right here i'm using the Oscar fast piece the wood grain additions and i have the lever closed on this type of haircut right here so i'm gonna work my way up so i have the lever closed with the first guy line knocking that line out and then I'll slowly open it to the middle and then just a tad bit, just a tad bit more, not, you know, not really to a half. That way I could blend it into the top, which is already in half. And I'm just playing with the lever at this moment right here. Just I already went into the, the half on top. So I'm just working my way back down, making sure that blend is smooth and transparent all the way through. Using the corner of the blade going downwards. Listening to the house of creation. 
And um, just an update on the My Gifted Guidance. I got a lot of good feedback for doing the, the live streams. I might have to do um, the My Gifted Guidance on the live stream. So what I'll do is I'll go through my emails and do about 20 to 25 haircuts. And whether the person is on the live stream or not, I'll go through the haircuts and give my feedback. That way, if you missed the live stream, you can go and check out that video and you can see me give feedback on your haircuts. So um, it's just a lot of interaction with my subscribers and people that send in their pictures for me to give feedback on. So I think it's a good idea. Again, I got a lot of good feedback on it from the first one. So I might do a live stream just because the software that I have is, is just not cooperating, cooperating with me right now. So until I get a MacBook, y'all, I think I might do, do the live streams. But get active in the comments. Let me know if that's a good idea. And again, I'll do the live stream and I'll make sure to go through all the pictures, like 20 to 25 pictures. And whether the person is on the live stream or not, um, if you did miss it, your haircut will be on there. I'll probably do that once a week in between the haircut tutorials. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know. On the road to 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there. April 19th is my birthday, so I definitely want to hit 10K before my birthday or, or, or on my birthday. That would be an awesome birthday gift. If you are new to my channel, I do haircut tutorials between two to three videos a week. So, um, I mean, if you want to just support the movement or you just like my videos, if you aren't subscribed, subscribe to my channel right now. You have more than enough time to watch this video and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that thumbs up, get active in the comments. And also follow me on all of my social media platforms. I do live streams on Facebook sometimes. Instagram I do more live streams on and YouTube I do live streams on. So I like to interact with my subscribers and followers. And if you have any types of questions or anything like that, Snapchat me, man. Hit me up. Don't be a stranger. But as far as the My Gifted Guidance photos, um, submit those via email only. MattGiftedHands at gmail.com. No underscore, no periods, no spaces. MattGiftedHands at gmail.com. All right, so right here, I'm just doing the razor. Going against the grain. And you want to do the razor before you do the hair fibers. That way you see where you're going to put the hair fibers on, you know, on the hairline. All right, so here's the front view of, you see how it's still kind of light, but the half did blend into that area. So this is just some holding hairspray. You could use spritz as well. I use hairspray and I just grab like a business card or any type of card. And I'm just spraying the hair fibers in there. And I'm, you know, I'm shooting it from, I'm spraying it from a distance. You don't want to shoot right on, like, right in front of it because that's going to be real dark and it's going to look fake. <laughs> so right here, I'm, I'm lining him back up, going over the hair fibers. And for the top of the head, I would charge, like, you know, five bucks if you do it the head and the beard ten bucks ten and up you can see that edge is popping you know the hair fibers give the illusion that he has hair on top so this is a really nice look my clients happy that's the best thing right there that's the best feeling ever spray some more hairspray so it sticks even more and there it is that's a finished look ti ball fade and hair fibers on top Nice crisp edge. My client's A1. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. This is all my social media. Y'all stay gifted. We out.